Alright, so I'm Spurs from the Game of Snow Carolina came back with another video. Before we go any further, we all praise and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhak Wadash. Double arms for our apostles and elders, the great most known, teaching us the truth according to the Bible and rule well. In peace and blessing, so flight to the nation of Israel, today through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, today's lesson is going to be titled, What is Essential? You know, because with this whole government lockdown, you know, in certain states, only essential businesses are open, you know, according to, you know, you know, that's how they're doing things right now, only essential businesses, and what, you know, what do they determine as essential, you know, grocery stores, you know, basically, places where you get food from, you know, maybe some alcohol, some wine, you know, everything else has been shut down, you know, and I got the definition of essential, if you had the brothers out there in Tampa, you know, they were, when the, when the you know, they got, uh, they had some police officers come and ask them to, to move, like, you guys can't be out here, you know, we're under a lockdown, you know, even though you had people walking around still, you know, doing what they do, you know, uh, they had, um, they asked the brothers, and they told the brothers that you got, he said, you got only essential uh, businesses are open. You guys are not essential. You know, well, let's get a definition of essential. And we're going to uh, prove to the scriptures that, you know, the men, the Lord teaching you about this wisdom, knowledge, understanding of scriptures is very essential. You know, this is uh, essential. This is absolutely necessary, extremely important. Cru and some of the syn syn synonyms are crucial, key, vital. Needed, required, all important, so urgent, so high priority, pressing. So, what is essential? This knowledge is essential. Is essential, you know. Esau being a carnal man, what does he have? Restaurants open. Real quick, this is uh, Deuteronomy chapter seven. Let's do the Rami chapter 7. And. It's like it. It's not Deuteronomy 7. Deuteronomy 8. This is Deuteronomy chapter 8. I'm going to start uh, 3. And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger and fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not. Neither did thy fathers know that he, may, that he might make thee know. That man does not live by bread only, but by every word but that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord do man live. So, the words that proceed out of the Lord's mouth, that is how man is supposed to, you know, through the scriptures, you know, the, the, the Holy Scriptures is supposed to be the guideline of how you should live your life down here on the earth, you know? But now, who is teaching you? How to live your life. Who is, you know, bringing out the commandments, uh, you know, going into the scriptures, breaking things down to you. Uh, uh, the man, the Lord. I'm going to read it one more time. Uh, this is um, Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 3. And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger and fed thee with manna. Which thou knewest not, near thy fathers know, that he might make thee know that man does not live by bread only. So, living by bread only, that's not essential, you know? Really, you know, what's essential is getting this knowledge, getting this understanding, you know? Because what, um, we're coming in a time of Jacob's trouble, and scripture say, say what? That wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability stability of your times that's what is, that's what that is what is essential you know okay real quick this is um malachi i'm gonna finish this one out real quick this is a uh, finishing out it says but by every word that perceive out of the mouth of the lord do of man live? Yes. Yeah, so, then, then, the, this is how we're supposed to live. These things are essential. The knowledge, you know, this is um, 
Malachi chapter 2, verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they shall seek the law at his mouth, for he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. So the 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 the, the mouthpieces of Yahweh by Shema Shai what are are the prophets, are the priests, you know? I'm reading it one more time, it says for the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So the priest's lips you know, the words that they they shall be speaking are going to be words of knowledge, of words of, of things to know, according to the Holy Bible. You know, to know what times we're living in, to know how to please your power, how to get back into the good graces of Yahweh by Shema Shad, to know the names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, you know, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shad being the name of the only begotten Son. It says, for the priest's lips shall keep knowledge, and he shall seek the and like and they shall seek the law at his mouth. Who's that they? You know, uh, the the believers. You know, the rest of the nation of Israel. You're supposed to be seeking the law of Yahweh by Shema at the at at out the mouth of the priests. You know, like it tells you in Deuteronomy that this is our wisdom in the sight of the nation. You know, so. This this uh, knowledge, this understanding, this is what we need. This is what is essential, you know. Once again, going back to those guys, uh, those police officers, you know, that try to uh, tell the brothers that they weren't essential. They are essential, you know. Every brother is essential, you know, especially if they're uh, pr pushing this word, you know. Something that this knowledge of Yahweh by Shema Shai is essential, you know. This is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 13. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. For the merchant, for the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all things that can be desired are not to be compared unto her. Yeah, so everything that can be desired, you know, everything that uh you can uh desire in life is not to be compared unto wisdom. This wisdom is essential. It's absolutely necessary. This is uh Jeremiah 3 and 15, and I'll give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So the Lord has set up pastors, priests, you know, uh, spiritual guides, you know, to feed his people with knowledge and understanding, you know, because Yahweh Shema Shai knows what's, what's best. Yahweh Shema Shai knows what is essential for his people in getting this knowledge. We just read, you know, nothing can, getting this knowledge, you know, is the most important thing. Let's get that. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7, and it reads, For wisdom is the principal thing. You look at that word principal, it goes back to chief, most important. So what is essential? Wisdom, you know? This wisdom is essential. And the Lord said that men to go out there on the highways and byways and by way of YouTube to teach uh, the nation, the nation of Israel, you know, and to edify them, you know, it says wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom, you know, and with all that getting, get understanding, so with all you're getting, get understanding, you know, you're not, you know, what, you know, these grocery stores, yes, we need food to eat, you know, but, you know, what was the most important thing is this knowledge, you know, I'm going to bring out uh, one more scripture. I'm going to close out because the point's been made. You know, this knowledge is what is essential. You know, uh, you repenting to Yahweh by Shimon Shai, that's what's essential. You fearing the Lord, you know, and keeping his commandments. Let's get that, you know. Because said that knowledge, wisdom and knowledge is essential. Let's see how you get uh, wisdom and knowledge. This is uh, Proverbs 1 to 7. The fear of the Lord... I'm sorry, Proverbs 1 
and five, a wise man will hear and increase learning, and a man of understanding will, shall attain unto wise counsel. And this wise counsel uh, is the man of the Lord, you know. So a man of understanding will hear, you know. Uh, let's say, let's read it again. It says, a wise man will hear and increase learning, you know. Because it tells you in the book of Sirach 6, I believe it's starting at 34, you know, if thou desire wisdom, um, you know, uh, uh, the if you love to, let's get it, let's get it. Don't want to misquote it. This is Sirach chapter 6, verse 33. If thou love to hear, thou shalt receive understanding. And, and if thou bow down thy ear, thou shalt be wise. So if you, you know, if you love to hear, if you love, you know, the best student is the one that is just listening, you know. And they go through their experiences. They might make uh, some mistakes, but they get better, you know. Verse 5 again, Proverbs 1 5. A wise man will hear and increase learning, and a man of understanding shall obtain Unto wise counsel, a man of understanding, you know, is going to be constantly, you know, uh, constantly, uh, he's going to know what is essential. You know, he's going to know what's essential. He's going to be constantly there to get this knowledge. So let's just, that. Let's just finish out Sirach. Let's go back to Sirach chapter 6. I know I'm jumping around a little bit. But back in Sirach 6 and 34, stand in the multitude of the elders and cleave unto him that is wise. Be willing to hear every godly discourse, and let not the parables of understanding escape thee. You know, so brothers should be watching the videos, you know. You should be watching videos. You know, you should be studying. You know, I was watching, uh, you know, brother, uh, you know, brothers in Mississippi, uh, Missouri, Slakia. You know, you know, life should be simple. You know, you go to work, you know, you come home, study, you know, you might do a lesson, you know, you just... And you just chill out for the rest of the day, you know? It's, life is simple, you know? And it reads, And if thou seest a man of understanding, a man the Lord teaching you the knowledge, uh, you know, because this is what these guys should have done, the police, because you've seen that one police officer with a Jake, you know, should have went up and listened, you know? Oh, you know, you know, I'm actually can't allow you guys to be out here, but it's, you know, I, you know, you know, I, you know what you teach is you know very essential. You know, even though they might not say it's essential, it's very essential. Can I, you know, maybe get you know a business card or you know or where do you? I see you recording. Where do you do the record? You know, even though we don't pass out business cards, you know, but you know that's something Jake would ask in the world. It says, "If thou seest a man of understanding." Get thee be times unto him, and let thy foot wear the steps of his door. You know, get thee early unto him, you know. And the steps of his door can represent uh, you going on YouTube, you know, and going to their channels, you know. Going to their pages and watching all their videos before this death and destruction comes, before this knowledge gets taken off the internet. This is uh, back in Proverbs. This is uh, back in Proverbs chapter 1. So I like actually dropped it. This is uh, Proverbs 1 and 6. To understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. So the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. You know? This is, um, Sirach, chapter 19. Let's get this. This is Sirach, chapter 19, verse... 18, the fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him and wisdom obtaineth his love, you know? So being loved by Yahweh by Shema Shai, that's very essential, you know? That's very important. You know, getting this wisdom, getting this understanding. You know, I'm going to get this last scripture. I'm going to close out Isaiah 33 and 6. 
and wisdom and knowledge shall be a stability of thy times. So what wisdom and knowledge is he talking about? He's talking about the wisdom and knowledge of the scriptures, you know? Because people with college degrees, you see, they're not essential, according to Esau's government, you know? They've been, their jobs have been shut down. You know, these people in these uh, corporate buildings and things, hey, those things, those buildings are empty, you know? Now, you know, uh, hey, it's not essential, it's not important, according to Esau's standards and according to the standards of the Holy Bible. So it says, wisdom and knowledge shall be a stability of thy time. You look up, you know, that word stability, you know, in the blue leather, and go to the root word, it goes back to faith. So having this wisdom and knowledge of the scriptures, you know, to know, to have the understanding of how the Lord was always with the men at all times, you know, all his believers, you know, that in that, you know, hey, you have this knowledge, the Lord loves you, you know, and the Lord is dealing with you, you know, hey, uh, it's going to, this is going to be our faith. This is what we're going to believe and we're going to believe in the hopes and promises that the Lord has spoken through his men, through his prophets, that the Lord is going to deliver us out of these calamities. Because the time that's coming is a time of Jacob's trouble. It's going to be the time where the wicked of our people is going to be judged, you know, and we're going to be tested, you know. But the Lord's not going to put any test on us that we can't handle. Isaiah 33 and 6, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So the fear of the Lord is Yahweh by Shema Shah's treasure. You know, that's something, a treasure. Hey, to have a treasure is very good, you know. This is the definition of treasure. It says a quantity of precious metals, gems, or other valuable objects, you know. So having... Uh, this uh, knowledge is a treasure, you know, it's very valuable, you know, fearing the Lord, you know, is very, you know, beneficial for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, but Lord's one is less than edifying, you know, I just wanted to, you know, I was meditating on, you know, uh, you know, this whole thing he said about being essential, you know, what that police officer said, you know, you know, same thing with, you know, the king of Babylon, Donald Trump is saying that only essential businesses are open, you know, but the most essential, the most important thing is this knowledge, you know, with that we give all praise and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekar Kadash, Dabarna Store, Apostle and Elders, the Great Most Known, teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible rule well. And peace and blessings to so the collect of the nation of Israel. Next time you say, shall want.